Okay, here's a circuit diagram of the Emotep radiant oscillator with the modifications that were done by myself on lid motor and Waterhouse 24 and Elias. Now, this is basically two major modifications to the circuit, the primary circuit. Waterhouse 24 came up with a dual coil, basically parallel coil, to help increase the brightness of the light. Elias came up with a potentiometer put on the relay to control the amperage draw. And then a number of other guys at the energetic forum also were using small neo magnets against the relay to control the amperage draw on the system. I added a 25 ohm rheostat right here in the drive line to help control the brightness of the light. It's a dimmer switch basically, but it also controls the amperage draw. It does get hot. Some of the guys are having trouble with heat here. When I put that in, the heat goes up there. However, last night when I did the last video, I got everything synced in just right. All the heat went away, all the noise went away, and the charging on that battery was terrific. It went up to 13 some odd volts. Um, by the time I turned it off at about 11 o'clock at night. This is a simple diagram of the relay with the rheostat. Now here, here's the whole system over here running and uh, it runs uh, um, like I say now with no heat on this. This was my problem before it was a lot of heat on the rheostat. Some of the guys were having heat on the relay. Now that's gone too. This is what I added. Um, this is a 15 turn 1K potentiometer that you can get from Radio Shack and I just added that right onto the coil um, and you can use this screwdriver here to turn that little screw in there 15 turns so it's real real sensitive and then on the side here are the neo magnets that you can adjust around to get the light where you want it and a combination of that with that with two coils and uh, we have a winner. <laughs> you just got to be packaged it up correctly and, and go from there. But I'm using a, a rather small drive battery going into a big battery. And impedance is one of the things that I'm learning about is that you need to have something to not restrict the high spike energy coming off these collapsing coils. If you put too small of a battery back here, it impedes that high spike energy and you don't absorb it. So I'm going into a big sponge, basically, great big sponge, and I'm bleeding off real, real slow out of a little tiny sponge. Anyway, that is the circuit, and it does seem to work for me. I just got to package it up uh, neatly, and off we go. Emotep radian oscillator with modifications to the circuit.